Also, apparently it was Fortnite at first. Wait, you were playing Fortnite? Uh, we- you just asked me that. No, the only game I've played so far tonight is Crawl. Ah. Well, I asked because, you know, fun man. Yeah. Sounds like he was playing Fortnite while I was, uh, showcasing Crawl. Ah, uh, Crawl's a pretty good game. Yeah. I really like Crawl, but I need to find some friends to play it with. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Alright, Primal, yeah. what have you got to offer? I'm enjoying Fortnite? Well, I'm glad, because Fortnite is enjoyable, at least. It can I'm be. I'll, I would probably play it on and off, but yeah. You still need I, to add me on uh, Epic Games. You do realize I had work today, and then I had a stream, so I didn't have any time today, right? Yeah, I know. Pa patience is a virtue, one that you it's don't have. It's a virtue have. I don't have. <laughs> we thought the exact same thing. I'm glad you understand me better than most people. I'll say that. So, what the fuck is Primal about? I don't know. We're going to find out. Well, apparently it's about New York. Can we expect a New Yorkian accent? Potentially. Can we, can we expect the Ninja Turtles? <laughs> can we expect pizza, then? Pizza time. You can also expect your toes to be hurt. We, we can't expect a rock concert. We can't? We, have, we can. Uh, so speaking of... Is it Green Day? I don't know. Uh, I just went ahead and turned up the capture card a little bit because it was a little quiet. Their fucking faces. They look so blank. It's a PS2 game. I don't know when this was released in the PS2's lifespan. I'm gonna guess it was in the earlier half of the lifespan. I had assume as much. Also, when I meant uh, for you to add me on Epic Games, I wasn't talking about just you. You are Jacob. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, Rash is there. You see a big fucking uh, battle It's toe. Nemesis from Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> Nemesis just wanted to rock out. Oh my god, he can't be Nemesis. Me this guy me has hair. Meanwhile, in the changing room. Does sex happen in the changing room? Are you one of them badass rocks? I mean, no. It could. Apparently this game was released on March 23rd, 2003. That sounds like the earlier half of the PS2's life cycle. Yeah. When? That does make me wonder, when did the PlayStation 2 come out in North America? I'll tell you. Uh, March 4th, 2000 is the date introduced. Ooh, and when was it uh, cut off? Uh, let me see. Set, uh, yeah, discontinued January 4th, 2013. So yeah. this is earlier half. Oh, yeah. By far earlier half. Oh, boy. Yeah, it does feel weird that games were have been made for the PS2, like, since around the launch of the PS4. Please tell me you have the Adventures of Cooking and Cream. What now? Probably not. You monster! <laughs> to be fair, it's actually a pretty decent co-op game. Yeah. Remember, you can always check my backlog page if you're wondering if I have something that is kept up to date. Yeah, that moment when you realize the PS2 just ended its uh, PS2 line pretty recently. Yeah. Recently like, being like... Like I uh, said, around the launch of the PS4. How... Alright, do a search then. When did the PS4 come out then? 
Okay, sure. I'll check. Probably guess like 2013, 2014. PS4 was released in North America November 15th, 2013. Okay. Wait, wait, hold on a second. What? Wow. They ended the PS2 line at uh, 2013, and then they started uh, PS4 at 2013. Yeah. God damn. Really feels weird, doesn't it? Kind of does. Now I'm going to ask this. When was the PS3 started? I think that was around oh, 2006. Yeah, I was going to say. And technically, I don't think it's even been discontinued yet. Yeah, I, don't, I think it's still going. Nope, it has been discontinued. October 2016. Oh. Is this your Jane Doe? However, it was released yeah. in 2006. Came in two yeah, so... so hasn't come yet. November 17th, 2006, but still 2006. Well, that's a good 10 or so years. That's pretty good for a uh, console. Lung punctured in two places, ruptured spleen. What'd you do, get hit by a truck? Yeah, she you know what I want to know? What? What about the Wii U? The Wii U uh, is probably one of the consoles that had the shortest life cycle, unfortunately. Yeah, I was going to say. Because that was, what, 2012? What 2012 is, is when it was released. And then it discontinued yeah. at uh, January 31st, uh, 2017. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, like, I that's like five years, which is not that long for a console, especially a console from Nintendo. To be fair, I'm kind of glad that I bought it. Yeah, I'm, I'm still glad I bought my Wii U as well. I have a black one. Breath of the Wild was the last game for the Wii U. Oh, the last game released by Nintendo, yes. But people are still making games for the Wii U for some reason. That. I'd say at this point it would be more beneficial for uh, devs to try to make games on the Switch. For anyone wanting to but, know how to, to say Wii U. What the hell happened? But then there's the... Uh, oh my god. There's I'm Just dead. Dance, which is no, coming no, out on the no, Switch, no, the Wii U, and the Wii. Out, Lewis and I were just... Oh my god. Oh my Because Just god. Dance makes no sense at all. What happened to us? What the hell are you? Ah, you so this is why it's called Carmel. It's just She-Hulk. You're not dead, Jennifer. It, it's a mix. Don't be quiet and listen it, to me. It, it had baby me. with uh the game Rage, and that's how we got is, Primal Rage. Well, let's say you can call me Scree. My God. I've been <laughs> sent to find you to show you some very important things. As a side note, a talking fish. demon. <gasps> no. Glad I'm not dead. First, you better explain how come I'm looking down on myself. She is creeping me out. Your corporeal form, the one still. God damn it! Now I want to know something. What do you want to know now? Death, perhaps, what is the console or any kind of a uh, gaming that peripheral part of you. with the shortest lifespan ever? Your spirit. The immediate answer would probably be the Virtual Boy, but I'm sure I'm there's uh, consoles or peripherals that have had an even shorter lifespan. Now that it's free, you'll find you can travel to places you've never even imagined. Right, so... This requires I'm the internet. like an astral projection or something. Essentially, I'm here to play shitty games, you're so here to research stuff. You? You're, you're right, you're submitting that research search paper tomorrow morning, right? Someone you need How long does the paper have to be? Now quickly, you must come uh, two pages. No double space. Okay. No double space? But only <laughs> what the fuck kind of class are you teaching? <laughs> Yo, that's actually been like a thing if in a few of my classes where it's like, you can't double space your paper, so... Your class would fail. Okay. Your teachers would fail. Yeah, exactly. Do they not know what fucking MLA oh. format is? Oh, yeah, that or is APA. Oh, yeah, that's one I am curious my about. Uh, God. Neo Geo. Neo Geo. I think, uh, I think I had a decent-ish lifespan. Questions. We're no longer in Mortalis. We've stepped through a rift gate into the next bear with me for a bit i'm gonna have to dig around huh know that this is specifically the neo geo and not the neo geo x because uh yeah yeah neo x i don't think it's been discontinued yet i wish i could stream my neo geo x 
<laughs> okay, so here's the deal. Uh, like one of Lewis's I cannot be given a specific date, but it was introduced in 1990, and it was discontinued in 2004. Alright. So, it lasts Not, about 24 years, so pretty good. All of this quickly, the 1990 to 2004? Yeah. That's 14 hey, years. I'm terrible at math. Do you not know this? No matter where we are, you gotta stop Apparently. calling me Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Neo Geo X, though, uh, concept-wise, it's basically, as I've described it as before, uh, predates the Switch in concept, because it's a console and a handheld at the same time. Yeah, it was released in December 18th, 2012, and it was its introductory price was $200. Yep, still is. It's fucking media it's SD card. Trust me and yeah, uh, during the next break, I might be, I might, uh, show off the Neo Geo X really fast. It's an SNK system, so... Not a problem. Who remembers that SNK made video game systems? I do. Surprisingly. Could have been made for me. Ah, uh, here's an interesting fact. Uh, in January 2013, SNK Playmore announced that manufacturing of the Gold Limited Edition package was ending with the last units arriving to retailers in April. However, they stated that the handheld would continue to be manufactured in that additional games yeah, I've got and the accessories. Yeah, Gold Edition's the one I've got. Of course you got the Gold Edition. Uh, it was the oh. one they actually had at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo when I was there. Oh, this is sad. What? All that is good. However, by 2017, the system was discontinued. Oh. She is right. I mean, they, they didn't really do a whole lot with the Neo Geo X, so she I can see why. A friend of mine did bring his Neo Geo X a while back to to school one day, and we just played a, a ton of King of Fighters. It's real good. Rip. <laughs> we are also totally still in this very same cutscene. We have not God gotten out of the introduction cutscene while researching all this. Well, something tells me you're going to be banned because you're not playing a game, you're watching a fucking movie. Uh, you know you're going to have to introduce me to this Shit. You figured me out. Oh, I shall. And she will be most relieved to see you. I, I love fucking Jacob's talk of us. Play shit. Search shit. It is. That, it's that's you know what that. Awesome. Yeah, you know what that reminds me of. Eat well, shit well. <laughs> I remember that. That's a Neca that's a Nakamaro quote from Dongan Rumpa Two. Eat yes. well, shit well. You remember Jurassic shit. That that too. That seems to be one that you remember. It's good shit. Hey, I'm man. I'm finally playing the game. All right. Since we're discussing this, I'm actually gonna go ahead and show the. Neo Geo X really fast before I forget to, so let me go grab it really fast. I better not be disappointed. I got it. Uh, do, 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 do. Desktop cam. And it's not working. Oh wait, that's desktop cam, not webcam. And the webcam's not working. Is my webcam even plugged in? Hang on. It should be plugged in. Is this XSplit being XSplit again? Could be. Zing. So guys, what are your favorite systems? Yeah, it looks like my, uh... My webcam is unfortunately shit the bed. Unless is it just Nope. It's shit the bed. Apparently. Let me Play also shit, search shit shit the bed. Yeah. Uh let me check one other thing because this happens sometimes. Yeah. Actually wait. Light's coming on. <gasps> you might have it. No, it's only the light only comes Alright, so I guess it's not the webcam itself. You think it, it won't activate? I don't know. Can it? 
All right, fine. I'll just mess around with it later. Rip. That's desktop again. I need to stop hitting that button. <laughs> Good stuff. So let me ask, what's your favorite system? Uh, I will get back to you on that once I put my Neo Geo back. Okay. Uh, I don't know, actually. There's a lot of good systems. As much as people shit on it, I really do like the Vita. I mean, the Vita's oh. okay. It's just not given enough love. Also, now the capture card is not working. Oh, goody. Hang on. This should be fixable. <laughs> Great, everything stopped working. Especially exploit? Uh, I might actually go ahead and reset exploit. So, hey, let me test something. Why do I feel like the Vita stopped or was discontinued? Uh, I don't think it was discontinued. Well, while I don't you think so. While you look that up, yeah, I'm going to take the stream offline, uh, shut down Exploit and reboot it, and we should hopefully be back online. Alright. Uh, looks like we are back online. Yep. Back online. Well, that was a little dumb, but alright. Let's get right. back. Let's get back to it. Don't think the webcam is going to work, so... I wouldn't risk it again anyways, I'm considering sorry. it might break the capture card. Yep. Everything, Good news get... for anyone that... Everything gets the break. Huzzah. Good news for everyone that wants a Vita. It's still available. Yeah. I saw it for, uh... I think like 180? 150? Which isn't a bad price. Yeah, Vita is... There's not a whole lot to it. Yeah, it has... It has pretty good ratings when it was initially launched in the Western region. Yeah, and then, uh... PlayStation, unfortunately, decided to stop supporting it. Although, indie developers seem to still support it a great amount. Yep. <sighs> yeah, in Japan, its second week sales dropped 78%. Mm -hmm. They leveled off of about selling 12,000 units per week. In North America, it dropped from a... Uh, yeah, I, I, to, uh, I still need to put my PlayStation Vita that's modded with a capture card to good use. You have a Vita that's modded with a capture card? Yeah. Who did that? Um, I don't even remember the name of the company. But... Uh, it's a company in Japan. I sent it in for modding, and it's modded with a capture card now. The problem is the software itself does not seem to record footage, but it's also all in Japanese, so I gotta pl uh, mess around with it to be able to figure out what to do in it. Yeah. I might try to do some more messing around with it in the coming weeks, because there is some more stuff I do want to do on the PS Vita. Well, he said something about the. Alternatively, I. Sorry. Alternatively, I do have a uh, a PlayStation TV that I can use as a backup. Which, even if it didn't want to work for streams, I know that has worked for me in the past with just standard recordings. For all our sakes, I trust your own sense of responsibility. That's everything on my mind. Distinctive sense of humor. Distinctive good or distinctive? Distinctive in a So you said that the PlayStation TV did not do well? Jeez, I'm being heckled by uh, the ball. PlayStation TV... I, I don't know how well it did, in fact. I, I would think it did. Do you want to tell did. you? Is sure. It okay? uh, released in Japan in November 2013, North America in October 2014, and in Europe on November 14th, uh, 2014. Device did not do fair... Er, Device did not fare well and discontinued at the end of 2015. All right, so there's something with a short lifespan as well. One year. Yeah. That's not about, even a full year. That's about the same length as a Virtual Boy. He may not last very long. Come on, Jen. We have Sad. I, you know what? I might want to see okay, okay, the Virtual Boy. Don't leave me 
behind you. What, what's the status on the Virtual Boy? Holy shit! How fast did that get discontinued? Uh, for Japan, it was released on July 21st, 1995, and in North America, August 20, or August 16th, 1995. In Japan, it discontinued at December 22nd, 1996, and in uh, North America, it discontinued at March 2nd, 1996. Or, I'm sorry, on Japan, it uh, discontinued at 1995. Yeah. It, it is not a console that lasted that long. Oh. I'm gonna have to ask Scree. I'm surprised James Rolfe has one still. Questions again. And if there's something like there's well, one, he would have just ask, ripped that shit off and just like what? broke it in half or something. These but are... remember, you gotta put aside oh, the character that is the angry I video game nerd because no the James Rolfe and angry video game nerd Indeed. are two separate people. Uh, I know. It's just a persona essentially. Yeah. Similarity. They are identical, you lunk. Yeah. Apparently, this is the second it's lowest selling platform next to the 64D. Mm -hmm. How come the symbols Which didn't even come out in America. I simply can't tell you. And yet somehow yeah. it lasted longer oh. than the Virtual Boy. Yeah. I want to try to get gen, find a Nintendo 64 just everything. drive. It's not branded. That, that's I don't know something what games you find for. Apparently, uh, Ocarina of Time was originally supposed to be uh, disc based. Where did Lewis see this symbol? It's very important. Uh, Mario Party 2. Was Mario Party 2 disc based? It. Else it was supposed to be, but yeah, it got released supposed. on cartridge. Yeah. At, well, all the North American games ended up getting released on cartridge. So. Because <laughs> it never did come out in North America. There's not very many English based uh, games that were meant for the 64 DD. Mm -hmm. that, were, uh, that weren't either cancelled or uh, put on cartridge instead we now? Mm -hmm. there was supposed to be a Pokemon 64 or a Pokemon RPG game well that's what we have po that's what we have Pokemon Stadium for stadium's different though stadium's different from Pokemon RPG apparently by nature solemn is bleak of climate all right nothing to trying to see if there's a I'm not seeing it unfortunately Sad. Well, at least Pokemon Stadium put the good use of uh, peripheral. The uh, the Game Boy Advance, or not the Game Boy Advance pack, the, the Game Boy pack that you plug into the back of your N64 controller, and yeah. you can Im import your team or straight up play the cartridge that you have inserted. Wait, how? There's a tower that you can GB go to. GB Tower? Yeah, GB Tower. You go there and... I didn't and know that you could do it like that. Yeah, you go to GB Tower Thanks and to you can play the the Pokemon game you've got inserted. In fact, if you uh, unlock the Dojo Tower or the Dojo Tower, you can play the game at two times speed or four times speed, respectively. My god. Yeah. So the guy's trash in the status quo. I'm looking over. Guess Tonic Trouble add-on. We must do ours. Twelve Tales Conquer sixty four, which just releases Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Yeah. Oops. Uh Wall Street. Ah, uh, everyone's favorite game, Wall Street. So more will become clear to you, child, but <laughs> the get rich quick uh scheme. Uh, I think they call that Fortune Street. I'm fine. <laughs> so what's to be done? Good shit. Let's get on with it. I still want to see if uh the new Fortune Street no. game comes out We've for PS4. There's probably supposed to be one for PS4. Uh, that has Dragon Quest characters and Final Fantasy but characters. I, do I would love for that to get released somehow. in North America we since we've only gotten one Fortune Street game Fair over right. here. But they live as and that's a Nintendo. Yeah, that's the, the Wii Fortune Street game. Because Fortune Street is... Wait, oh, what the fuck? Awesome what? Strength, but he must Diablo? Sacrifice himself at the height of the yeah, I can believe that considering uh, you have games like game. Turok or Doom. Gruesome. I, I'm just thinking Diablo because of Diablo 3, though. Well, you're also thinking Diablo 3. Think Diablo 1. Failure of the king to abdicate his power state the land and lead its people to ruin. Ruin as in. Well, it might not be the, the same game, but apparently when I click on it, it goes right to the Blizzard's game, which is pretty much like uh, Diablo 3. 
Mm -hmm. But some time ago, he was due to relinquish power. Not I started. I'm, I'm trying to think of games that I would love to see someone like ROM hack and downgrade onto the Nintendo 64 using the disk drive. And I, I'm, I can picture games like Borderlands, Persona 5. Picture games like those on the N64. <laughs> God, if it can do that, then I'd be fucking I, I, I don't impressed. Think it, I do not think it could. But man, would that be funny. Well, for anyone who's watching the stream, I challenge you to do that. Good, good luck. Impress me. I'll quite happily lead the way whenever I you like. I think we've. Ah, uh... Uh, yes, my favorite okay. menu. Uh, flag, boots. <laughs> <laughs> they those sound like Atari games. <laughs> no, no, no! I'm not talking about the games. I'm looking at your menu. Oh, for primal. Yeah, I see flag. I guess that's that's the one you were thinking of. Boot flag is save the game or quit. Oh, I'm sorry, I was thinking of upside down boot, like on the far right. Ah, uh, gotcha. It looks, upside down boot with spikes. It looks more like cliff to me. That is uh, control. Okay, here we go. Uh, far left is arrow. I'm gonna call it that. That's the map. <laughs> Flag is okay. save game or quit. Uh, the third one, which <laughs> kind of looks like a swollen foot, uh, <laughs> is language. Uh, the baseball diamond is display. Man, that's my favorite. The, <laughs> yeah. the, la the, the lazy swastika is audio. <laughs> the lazy swastika. <laughs> and then the upside down boot is exactly what we said it was. Uh <laughs> Who the fuck thought those symbols would be good for uh, a menu? I don't know, this is also a game that was not received the best, so I, I, I think this was <laughs> Well, this was also part of the experimental era of video games. The like the transition the from two D to three D. Yeah, me uh, yeah, throw that in the ballot box. A lazy swastika. Okay. You hear those girls scream? <laughs> okay. Wait, are you telling Jacob or are you telling me? You. You're the one in the server. <laughs> okay. Huge teeth. Also forgot. Claws. Epsilopsily. Well, that's it. We ain't moving. Was a thing. Oh no. I suspect they'd only be interested in devouring you. Oh great. I'm sorry, but the Lizzie Swastika kind of kind of sounds me. like a uh, sure. uh fucking Nazi toddler story. Malkai are afraid of fire. <laughs> I only fucking I wonder it. how the hell will be read. I'll stay here until you get back. <laughs> uh, uh, right. Just as soon as I come in here, we just talk about bullshit. I'm gonna go like, ahead. We all descend in madness. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and save because I think we've played enough of Primal to get the idea that it's... Not just kind of a meh game. There's not really anything too spectacular about it. Hence, we were just talking about other shit the whole time. <laughs> so I'm going okay. to bring up the random game generator now. Okay, so I'll say this. You know how you uh, thought about how uh, you'd like Persona 5 to be downgraded to uh, 64DD? Mm -hmm. I'll just say this. Good luck. <laughs> CD-ROM large capacity is 650 megabytes. You want to guess how much uh, capacity is on a 64DD? Uh, 64DD? 